Hey, how is it going today? 6th of February, Tuesday, and we are taking a look at the market, some of the press releases, and uh, some of the perhaps exciting things. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look at uh, everything that's happening with, and all some of the press releases and what's published yesterday. That would be August Trial Advanced AI and Autonomous Collaboration, right? Uh, let's uh, take a look at this article. Let's do a setup, right? So let's take a look at perhaps some of the projects and I'll uh, have a little bit of fun. <laughs> let's do it like that, perhaps. Uh, let's first, let's take a look at this article. The case on forces and defense science and technology of laboratory. Recently collaborated in August trials in Australia. Uh, that's something that was published on 5th of February 2024. Uh, which is kind of great, I haven't read it yet. Let's uh, first, before we do anything like uh, uh, before we reading this article, let's take a look at something that I was taking a look at yesterday. That would be within Europe and Sweden. I think it was about a year ago when some of the companies within uh, Europe, Sweden released uh, some of the projects, right? Something that I was taking a look at recently, right? That would be some of the companies within Sweden. Uh, let's take a look at what uh, we can purchase potentially. Some of the price tags, perhaps all of the roof, right? Uh, but either way, so that would be aircraft systems. Let's take a look at uh, quickly what systems they have for sale and everything what's uh, currently happening within Sweden quickly. All systems, uh, just new, some of the news articles, right, without perhaps going too much into detail about uh, everything that's happening. All these air systems have pilot inside, all, all of the systems, right, so they're still working on the systems. I hope, I hope uh, people would take notice, since some of the projects as of now are being launched with no need of having a pilot. So hopefully Sweden would take notice and begin selling off old stock and building a new without the need of person sitting in a cabin hopefully so once that been said and yeah uh, gave a quick look yesterday <laughs> interesting they should put things together right ikea come on <laughs> put things together <laughs> uh, uh australians have unfolding drones cardboard unfolding drones Australians build this project so what I'm saying is uh, I don't know what is uh, I hope Sweden uh, is not sleeping as of now if Australians begin building those drones unfoldable of cardboard the drones uh, price tag I think it's about 15,000 or something so perhaps Sweden should uh, take notice and if not the uh, cardboard unfoldable drones Sweden need to step things up without at least removing a need of person putting himself in danger and sitting in a cabin. Right, since we take a look at this article that press release, that's uh, something that the Australian is doing right now, right? That's a uh, Australian project. Uh, that would be cardboard drone, something that was developed by Australians. So I don't know what Sweden is doing. <laughs> since we take a look at Sweden, right? So uh, if anything, we're looking to show some love and if anything, bring some understanding perhaps. Some of the projects were, could be easily done by uh, Swedish professionals. Perhaps they can progress into next generation, next generation, next gener uh, generation. That would be AI technologies and uh, taking people out of uh, risk of uh, need of sitting in the cabins, right? Either way, let's progress in something that's happening within Australia, perhaps. Uh, and UK, uh, that's Defense Ministry. Or, uh, either way, let's progress. And UK Armed Forces collaborated with Australia and US in an AUKUS trial to accelerate the adoption of understanding of artificial intelligence and autonomous systems. Hopefully, some European partners would progress. And AUKUS uh, trusted operations robotic vehicles on that environment. Trial aimed to identify the result on uh, vulnerabilities of robotic vehicles and or sensors that affect autonomous systems understanding and or mitigate the impact of such threats in critical and or effective and reliable use of such systems on the future operations we i think they have referring to a very particular problem that would be detect to avoid i think that's what they're referring to when it comes to sensors and uh, some of the sensors are very heavy so we, if we take a look at aircraft uh, detect or avoid those systems can be very heavy as of now so perhaps they're looking to address some of the sensors within the 
what they're referring to exactly, right? But either way, let's forget the Travis uh, trial follows the first AUKUS AI anatomy trial held in the UK in April of 2023. In December, AUKUS Defense Minister announced the intent to integrate resilience and autonomous artificial intelligence technologies into <laughs> national programs in 2024. Uh, Travis trials takes a step closer to adopting these technologies in the land dominant. Okay, okay, so I think they are referring to different projects, right? Not necessarily air system. They might be referring into vehicles, but either way. So I would say perhaps air dominance, as have been shown in recent events, would be air dominance would be very important, right? But let's forget. During the trial, US and UK autonomous vehicle conducted a large number of missions, such as routes recognize wide uh, subject and range of effect uh, generated by Australia. Outcomes will improve the resilience of AUKUS AI and autonomous systems when subject to electronic warfare lasers and position navigations and training, for example, GPS attacks, while this also ensures the systems that are built to deliver capabilities and the testing environment is on the modern battlefields. Okay, okay. I think that's the systems that they're referring to, so that would be on ground systems, but either way. And I think that as of now, some of the projects within UK have uh, begin operating, but the contracts are very bad, very, very bad contracts. <laughs> but that's my own feedback, right? Perhaps for others, they prefer this kind of contracts. It's not necessarily good contracts, <laughs> but either way, that's what I got. If you're interested in learning more, I have uh, taken a look at uh, Livestock Enterprise and I have published a book uh, hoping to share as much information when it comes to uh, establishing your enterprise, uh, taking a look at more sustainable practices as well as uh, how to structure potential milestones. That would be its hero where everyone would start, taking a look at financial metrics. And from zero progressing into 10,000 euros, dollars, pounds, and how you can potentially achieve that. I'm looking to share as much information as I can. Hopefully, more people will succeed when it comes to venturing in such an industry. So, I'm using some of the examples uh, from Australia, so to say, <laughs> and some of the examples of uh, how the people out there did it. And hopefully people in other parts of the world will succeed uh, and or learn a lot of things from some of the things and points made in the book. If it's something yourself you're interested in, there's going to be a QR code in the corner on the south side below. There were some announcements made uh, about uh, science and technology, which is kind of great, I guess. Uh, I would address that a game changer. I would say security and or saving some of the people, right, of having a need of having those people there. Accelerating the development of these technologies is expected to have a massive impact on coalition military capability while reducing the risk of war, uh, war fighters. This uh, collaboration enables all three uh, AUKUS uh, nations to access the best uh, resilient AI and autonomy, improving uh, interoperability, streamlining efforts, and benefiting from each other's science and technology expertise. Which is great. Uh, I don't know if I was taking a look at this particular opportunity. I was taking a look, I think, at different opportunities, right? Perhaps we're taking a look at this opportunity, or perhaps how business would be able to solve some of the problems and some of the targets that this initiative has set for itself. I'll try to engage with the team. Most likely, I won't be able to do anything, most likely. But either way, either way. So, if there's any opportunities, perhaps they might have a lot of capital available, so to say. <laughs> but contracts is a different story. AUKUS is an landmark defense and security partnership between Australia and UK and US that supports security and sustainability in Indo Pacific and around the world. Our work is deepened for our cooperation on the range of cutting edge military technologies known as AUKUS. Pillar 2 will help deliver enhanced military edge of us and our allies, making sure that we have capabilities needed to defend and against rapidly evolving threats. Throughout the pillar two, our countries are collaborating and accelerating uh, collective understanding of AI and autonomous technologies and how to rapidly uh, field robust or trustworthy AI and autonomous in complex 
operations while adhering to international law and sharing the same and responsible use of the AI. So uh, that's uh, perhaps less exciting age for the team, most likely. There's nothing there, but either way, let's close the net. Thanks for watching. See you next one.